Okay. Because uh, if I finish this DNS, it's like uh, this part will be completed. Okay. Again, I have uh, mother uh, like this. Okay. So better you should complete it. Already, I think it is completed. So I need uh, just 15 20 minutes maximum time to complete DNS. Okay. So important, what is a DNS? Of course, DNS is also a protocol domain name system. Domain name system. Okay. Port number is 53. What is this DNS? Two parts of DNS is there. Okay. The DNS server, DNS server contains records of a device or a service, which is what is the record? Which is a what is a record? Which is a map of device name in a domain to the IP addresses. Guys, all communications by IP address on all communications. YouTube.com. You want to open studio.youtube.com. www.youtube.com. main.google.com. docs.google.com. meet.google.com. www.facebook.com. You want to communicate either through web browser or maybe Firezilla kind of applications or a command prompt. So what are the different types of communications are? Through Outlook you are communicating. Okay. Different ways of communication depends upon the remote server and the client. Depends upon the server. It's a mail server, mail related communication. So file server, file related communication. Okay. Web, web server, it is a web related communication. Protocols are protocols. Application is application. But to communicate, we should communicate with the IP address only. We cannot communicate with the names. Okay, that is a point. But how many IP addresses you know? How many IP addresses you will remember? Do you know the google.com IP address? www.google.com IP address? docs.google.com IP address? www.youtube.com IP address, studio.youtube.com IP address, web.whatsapp.com IP address. You don't know, right? So we don't know their IP addresses. So what to do? What to do? When you open, when you're trying to communicate with the name, our system will send a request to the DNS server. It send a request to the DNS server or DNS server. So what is the DNS server? Again, in our home, our Wi-Fi router is act like a DNC, DNS server. Your local DNS server is a local DNS server. Your Wi-Fi router is your local DNS server. Okay. It send a request to the local DNS server asking for an IP address of your name. Five ten minutes for me. Okay. IP address of your local uh, IP address of what are the thing you are uh, required. www.google.com, meet.google.com, mail.google.com, studio.youtube.com, www.youtube.com. So which one you are open? Which one you are trying to communicate? You give in the name. To the DNS server, ask for an IP address. I want the IP address of this particular domain, particular server, or a host. Server or a host IP address are required. Then you ask a DNS server what DNS server is giving the IP address of that particular uh, host or server. Our device is send a request to find the IP address of host. Or a server with a name, the name to the DNS server. You know the name and you want an IP address. You know the name, you want an IP address. You ask a DNS server. DNS server returns an IP address of 
the specific host or the server, which is in a specific domain. See, I told that google.com is a domain. Google.com is a domain. www.google.com www.google.com is a host or a server. It is a server. Meet.google.com is a server. DOCS.google.com is a server. The server has an IP address. Server, host, computer, anything. It has a server. Do you want to communicate? You have to communicate with an IP address only. Okay. But you don't have the IP address. You ask a DNS server. DNS server give you IP address of that one. Okay. And what is this HTTP? Yes, colon slash slash www.google.com. That is URL. That is URL, not domain. That is URL, universal resource locator. HTTP, yes, colon slash slash www.google.com. That is a URL. www.google.com is a host or a server. It is a computer server machine, whatever it is. Okay, Google.com is a domain name. So under the domain, WW server is there. Under Google.com, WW is there. Under Google.com, DOCS server is there. Under Google.com, Meet server is there. Under Google.com, Mail.google.com server is there. Okay, it's like an architecture. So again, give an example ways. You open a browser, you put a www.google.com, but we need an IP address of Google.com. So see our PC send a request. You are not sending your PC itself. Send a request to the DNS server. How? Because of your IP address configuration, there is a preferred DNS server address is there. To the preferred DNS server, it send a request, ask for IP address of www.google.com. DNS server returns an IP address of Google.com. Now we can reach to the www.google.com server with an IP address. Okay, so this is what it is DNS server will do. What is a DNS server? It get a request from the client. So, okay, it will get a request from the client. Or, a, or client device send a request to DNS server for a getting an IP address of specific host with a name, okay? And you give in a name and you got an IP address of that host IP address, you will get it from the DNS server. So we are getting the remote host IP addresses from the DNS. And here it's a example explanation is also there. So this is some explanation is so compared to explanation for our understanding plus it is also understanding uh, point. Okay, I like interview also they are asking these questions. Right? How you compare a DNS with a mobile phone contact list? In a mobile phone, you have a phone number, right? You cannot remember all phone numbers. What you will do, you note down the phone number like this. Name and phone number, name and phone number, name and phone number. For example, so name, uh, for example, I want to, I didn't have your phone numbers, but I will note down like this if I, if I have noting down. So I put it like if I have a Pune bias member, some students numbers are there. So how you, I will put it, uh, for example, there is a Siva is there, Siva, CTS, batch number uh, 15 and 2022. Okay, last time I called to one for my student, that is, is Jagan, CTS, Hyderabad batch 2 and uh, 2020 20 batch or 2021 20, batch. Okay, so what happened? I'm putting like a is name specifications and phone number. So what is this kind of stuff? Name and phone number. I want to call to someone. I want to call to my father. So then I will go to my father, uh, what the save name, then dial. Yeah, yeah, you, you think you are calling to the name. This way it is showing your name. Okay, but actually call goes to the phone number only. You are all communication with the Phone number, telephone communication is numbers only, not with the names. But you display the name is different and the name, number is different. Okay. The point is, okay, your mobile phone contact list 
name and phone number. So you have dialed the name and call goes for the number. The same way we open different types of, we are trying to communicate different types of hosts, servers or devices with the names, but we don't know the IP address. We ask a DNS server, DNS server returns an IP address of it. Okay. You will get an IP address for your laptop from DLC or something. You will get a, your for your laptop, your mobile phone has an IP address. It is has an IP address. Simply think you have a mobile phone and you, you have a phone number, right? Your mobile phone number, your mobile phone number given by the, that mobile phone company, it tells you, will give you a phone number. Same way, DHCP server has sent an IP address to your laptop or mobile phones or desktops. Okay. That is your IP address. But you want to communicate someone like your dvcs.google.com, www.facebook.com. You want that machine's IP address. You will ask DNS server. So DNS server will give that IP address to you. That's the difference. Okay. So you can tell this one. Okay. This is good for a DNS. Okay. What is a DNS? Also, you can tell this is for little plus one point. It contains a record again. Uh, in the, this is the local. That is also correct answer, but uh, maybe may not be can you see. You try to ping to the google.com. First, you will get IP address. Then you will communicate it to the IP address. Okay. What is FQDN? Fully qualified domain name. As I said, domain name, server name, sorry, host name, domain name. And finally, it is FQD, a fully qualified domain. This is a big explanation of how actually resolving the names. I told about from my PC to local DNS server. I didn't explain all the things. If in case we got time, uh, I will explain it. But now I can't explain. It's not time. So important is what is a DNS server? How DNS server works? That is an important one. Okay, that's it. That's it for today, guys. Okay. Yeah, you can leave 